Right, we're at uh, Bramley Farm. Uh, they do all the free range chicken and pork and eggs. Amazing, beautiful spot here. And we uh, managed to come across a, a catch box that they had up in the tree and it's caught a little while ago. And it seems like they're bringing in some, some pollen. So we're gonna rebox these buggers and uh, get them into a much bigger brood box because that's a catch box over there. Uh, it's only got five frames, so we want to make sure that it goes into a 10 frame brood box and uh, that they can start stabilizing. It's up in the tree at the moment. We're going to strap it and slightly lower it down that um, eventually we can get it down to ground level that you can put supers on it on top as well. While it's up in the tree, you can't put supers on, so it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, we'll eventually get it down. Uh, the rule, general rule is that you don't move it more than a meter uh, per day. I like to do it a meter every second day um, at the most uh, and that way you know that the bees are happy. You also see it's quite shady here compared to on this side uh, where it's all open up so we'll try and clear up and open the bush up a bit give them a little bit more sunlight and that way the the honey production will start picking up as well. They prefer being a bit out in the sun. Uh, it's not too hot here in the Midlands. We are just the other side of Nottingham town so uh, let's see how it goes. Right, so we're all done here, got them inside a nice big brood box. They're Andre from Bramley Farm again. Um, happy chappy and he's going to put some honey on his uh, toast tomorrow morning. Not too much, but as, a, as the swarm grows, I'm sure it'll be good. Thank you, Brian. Cheers for now. Bye. Thank you, Bushveld Bees. Good. <laughs>